Good evening and welcome back once again. If you watched the last match, we had a, a very close win against Albacete. It did take us to the top of the league. The previous game to that was that top of the table clash against Levante, which we came out in top 3-0. So we're hoping today the game against Granada will be another three points and may put a little bit of a gap between ourselves and Levante. So today I have decided to put the informed Pierre in the right wing position and we've actually put Carlos Perez on the bench just to give him a bit of a rest but also Pajer is on the flashing up you want to play him Herrera is also on the flashing up want to play these players they're on form I didn't really want to drop Vieira chances are Perez will probably come off the bench but let's jump into the match and see how we get on and here it is back at home at La Rosa later let's hope this can be another three points for ourselves against Granada they're playing about mid-table I think I think they're 10th at the moment so it shouldn't be the toughest match, but sometimes you just never know. Really good to get uh, back in this game. I've had a few days off from it, just been doing some other stuff, and I've been recording some Resident Evil 4. Start a playthrough of that. Don't know when it'll be on the channel compared to when this video will be out, but keep an eye out for it. That's the original Resident Evil 4, not the remake. Really excited for the remake. Anyway, here's Vieira. Now Herrera... Ah, straight at the keeper. Nice effort. Got a lot of space over there. Rare managed to get to it first. Alcas on the charge. Ah, six, he just stopped his run there. I wanted him to just run towards that uh, that line. Quick feet from Schubert there. He's been a really good buy. Very, very solid. Made some outstanding saves in the matches where we've needed him to. Now Bajer, who's been all probably the surprise package of the uh, of the squad. Uh, Arcas just loses out. Vieira, Bajer, ah, poor touch. I actually thought he was offside for a moment, but he clearly wasn't. Must have been just on the line. And that first touch has just cost us. But here's Xerxes now. Bit of a loose ball there, needs to be a bit quicker. Nicely defended there. Turkey, not with much space. Vieira. Oh. Somehow the defence wins it back. They got a bit lucky there. Can't quite keep a hold of the ball as much as we normally do at the moment. Losing out on a few challenges and 50-50s. And seems to be a lot of space in that midfield in the centre we're giving away a lot of balls through the middle not the best of ball no nope, couldn't quite keep it in nicely done Pitch now. Herrera's got a bit of space. Herrera. Oh, decent effort, but it's going to take some strike to beat the keeper from that distance. Herrera. Oh, just wide. He's been back in form the past few matches. This was what, maybe a foot outside the post? Yeah, if that. So 
so about a third of the way through the game and we're very much on top a little bit concerned about the centre of midfield you know there's a few balls that we've intercepted but one of them probably will get through at some point um, not sure why there's such a gap it's a bit rough on Bajaya there but oh come on that was lucky <sighs> one players clashing into each other Yeah, we need to be winning those balls. Bit of space though for Arkas. Nice ball through to Xerxes. Oh, it's a bit... Oh, come on. Why couldn't I get that shot away? That's... That wasn't Xerxes. That was that was the game there. That was... Oh, but space here. Arkas. Offside. Yeah, anyway, when, when Xerxes was in the time before... Should have been able to get the shot away. Um, I think the physicality in this game is probably... There's always something in the PES games that are either overpowered or underpowered. And I think the physicality in this game is maybe a little bit overpowered sometimes from the defence. But chance here. Oh, wonderful save. Bichette. And Xerxes for the tap-in. And uh, Bajer will get yet another assist. Love you, but plenty of space. Should have really finished it off the first time, but a really strong hand from the keeper. Thought about just blasting it in, but picked the right option, played it back to Xerxes, got back up on his feet, and just tapped it in. Not the highest quality of goals, but um, I'll take it just before half time as well. There it is. We'll have a quick look at the stats. So, yeah, possession again above 50%. They've had no shots at all. But, like I say, they have looked a bit dangerous down the middle, so we're going to have to watch out for that. And you'd have to say, again, probably Bjer and Vieira. The, the best of the players so far. In fact, Herrera's been pretty good on the ball as well. Oh, nice bit of space for him there. Vieira. Oh, couldn't quite find Bajer. It's a good tackle, though. Oh, come on, that's... Nah, that's not a foul. I don't know why the physicality... The, they, the AI, I've said this before, but the AI always get away with it. But I never do. Nice ball into Xerxes. Needs a little bit of support though. And again he loses out with the physicality and the pace. That was definitely a good tackle that time. Could be offside there. No he's not. Oh, should have been two. I shouldn't have been worried about the offside flag. I should have just concentrated. I was looking up. Yeah, that's a foul. Come on. Nice little cut. I hate got taken out. Chance for a free kick here. So it's gonna be Vieira. I can't imagine this is gonna go in, but let's go for it. Ooh. Well struck. Just a bit too much power on it. Got it over the wall though, which is what I wanted. Oh, nice. Oh, just a bit over hit actually. I thought it was a nice pass. And I think we'll make some changes now. So we are going to bring Carlos Perez in for Bajer. We're going to bring in Harrington for Vieira. And we're also actually put Mihailov up top in place of Xerxes just to give the players a rest especially Bjer you know he's on a flashing up we want to keep him playing for as long as possible and his energy is a bit down so hopefully he'll still be on the up in the next match and he'll be a bit rested
Harrington hasn't been getting too much game time of the uh, the youngsters as being Bajer, really. Oh, I should have scored there. Oh, it's a shocking header. Really nice ball from Sanu. Oh, it's just nowhere near. I think that, that was my high love, wasn't it? Um, oh, Kessa in here. He's got lots of space. He takes it too far, but no, he hits it wide as well. Oh. When the keeper sort of took us out as I, t as I uh, went for the shot. Oof. Did he save it? No. So, got to wave that a little bit. Should have scored though. Just that uh, that last touch before the shot was what uh, just overrun it a little bit. That's not who I was trying to play the ball to. Nice. Perez, oh good save and that was well, no, they wouldn't do that in real life are we nice tackle Herrera's been pretty good in this game and here is again Oof. defenders somehow managed to toe poke the, uh, the ball just as I was shooting there oh nearly again Keep this play pretty well. Really bad defending there. Carlos Perez. Harrington. What happened there? That. Did he just absolutely spoon that over the bar? Oh, it deflected. Oh, of course it deflected. Yeah, the deflections are ridiculous. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to get Arcas to take this. Could be in trouble here. Nicely played. Nice defending there from Sanun. Here's Harrington. Perez, Mihailov, deflected again. Good defending in the end, it was a little bit scrappy. Ah, that was poor. That needed to be getting to Carlos Perez. He was free. There was plenty of room for error, margin for error. Nice tackle. Hit him on the counter attack. There it is, 2-0. Mihailov, the substitute, coming on and, well, he missed a couple of chances, but he's tapped that one in. Really nice work from Carlos Perez. Cut inside, lost the ball, but kept fighting. Yeah, good tackle, but got it back. Played it simply across and a simple tap in. So I've actually had two fairly similar goals, just tap-ins, really. Nearly straight at the keeper. Almost carbon copy of goals. Oh, nearly. 
But he is in here. Oh, come. That's what I mean about the strength being overpowered. Gets it back, though. Herrera. Now Perez. Oh, God, this time it's even him, my own players now. That was bad. Bad pass. I was in trouble there. Good tackle. Oh, he's pulled it back for the earlier foul. Which is fair enough, that was a foul earlier on. Want to keep the clean sheet. This is probably the last chance. What is going on there? And there it is. It's full time. And we've got the 2-0 win, courtesy of Xerxes and Mihailov. Stats wise, again, the majority of the possession, 17 shots with 13 on target, 121 passes to their 87, so it completely dominated. I was just a little bit worried about the midfield where we're losing some battles in the centre. It didn't cost us in the end, and in fact, we looked pretty comfortable. And ratings wise, very good across the board. Xerxes, man of the match, with Bajer close second. You've got Mihailov and Carlos Perez with a seven as well. I would agree with those. I don't think, I think we had some really good performers. I, well, the one I would disagree with actually there is Herrera. He deserved more than a six. But other than that, I think it was just an all round sort of good performance. And look at this, guys. We've actually gained a little bit of space between ourselves and Levante, who are now joint second with Leganes. So a little bit of space there. I think Levante must have drawn, or maybe they lost and Leganes drew. And just looking at our transfer budget and our salary budget, we're in a position now where we can make Herrera's permanent signing a thing. So let's do that now. There we go. Herrera is now a permanent player. And just looking through the messages, the monthly train report, you can see the players that are showing a lot of promise. So there's quite a few players that have increased. My main focus would be on the likes of Xerxes, Bjer, Harrington, um, and there's some youngsters in there as well on the youth team. And we've actually had five players inducted into the team of the month. Vasil, Herrera, Fabio Vieira, Xerxes and Carlos Perez, all in that team of the month, which is not a surprise considering we're top of the league. And I just thought I'd have a look at November's stats. So on the right hand side you can see the matches that were played. Four wins out of four. And looking at the players themselves, Fabio Vieira on top of the goals. Bajer with the assists. And the average ranking will probably take Mihailov out of that because he only played the one match, which was a good match. Carlos Perez and Bajer came out top of the regular stars. But that's it for today guys. I thought I'd do a little bit more stats in the game. I may forget sometimes but... I'm thinking maybe at the end of each month, it's just crossed over in December, we might look back at the previous month's stats, which we've just done there, obviously. I thought that might be a really good thing to do. I'll certainly do that at the end of the season as well. Maybe a little bit more in-depth at the end of the season, though. We'll see how we get on. But I hope you can join me next time. Let's see if we can increase that lead in Division 1. All things are looking up. Got a few matches in December, some fixtures coming thick and fast, and then we've got the January transfer window. Will we actually have any budget to make any signings? We'll have to wait and see. But I'll see you then. Cheers.